What's up everybody, it's Gail P. And today, this video is going to be titled, Locks of Grey. If you are on a lock journey or you're on that accepting the gray hair in my life, this video is for you. Stay tuned. All right, so I have admittedly been struggling with gray hair and the abundance of it in the front of my head. So in my family, the women tend to gray more around the crown or the halo or in the top, around the front, the edges. Um, I think I had one gray patch in the back. And two months ago, I decided that I was gonna try to, to lock my hair. But at the time, my hair was wet a little shorter than this and at first, I thought it was really cute, but then as the days and the weeks went on, the gray hair just started to appear to be outnumbering me. So, I think maybe a month later, a month later, I decided that I was going to not do locks. So, for about maybe two weeks, two or three weeks, I had un coiled my hair and I started to wear my hair like back in its natural state but the very first thing I noticed was my hair was extremely dry and I could not mix enough different products together to get it to be moisturized water like nothing was really helping but what I noticed when my hair was in this coil state um, I used a uh, beeswax and I use another kind of wax for locks. And my hair like stays moisturized. It's like, it's never dry, it's not shedding. And honestly, the growth that I experienced is very encouraging. And so I just decided that at that point I had dyed my hair. After I took the twist down, I skipped a part. After I took the twist down, I dyed my hair and I use, don't laugh, but I use um, Ben, ben J. Am I saying it right? You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. So I use black, and that was a month ago, and my hair is still dark. But at the root, you can see now that the grays are starting to come in. So I am now at that place where I have to determine. Um, Am I going to dye my hair? Honestly, I don't want to. And the other reason that's making it easier for me is because my hair is has gotten a little longer. So the gray hair is going to be mostly concentrated here. You know, and I honestly, I have not washed my hair in a month. Okay, whatever. But I want my hair to lock and I didn't want to keep putting water on it. And for the most part, it's doing pretty good. I love the coil. I don't know if you can really see. The coils are just so beautiful and I really love it. And um, I can see some budding. I have some budding. So for the most part, I really love this the way my hair looks. I love the way it feels so much so that I can't keep my hands out of my hair. And so I think locking for me is number one, me leaving my hair alone. I'm going on this journey of I've had all types of hair. I've had a perm, I had press and curl, I had my favorite hairstyle was a roller set. Like I've been natural. I've I've been I done the big chop like four times and had four big chops started in 2001 and at some point I always 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 damage my hair by pressing it too much and then it's straight on the end and so then when I try to revert back to my coily hair it's not doing it and it looks thin and it's just damaged and so I end up just shaving my hair off so I'm just to the point where this is easier, it's freer. Every every person, every woman 
that I asked about having locks, she always said she wished she had done it years ago. It's it's so refreshing, it's free, it's it's everything. It's a journey, right? So that's what we're talking about. I love it. And even though it's been two months, I really, really love my look now. I love my hair. I love looking my age that's the other thing when you get over 45 when you get in your 50s um you don't want to look 50 but you still want to look like an adult like i think i still struggle with having a balance between looking too young dressing too young or just trying to look mature to attract that type of male because I tend to attract younger guys. And people say, oh, you have a young spirit. I'm like, yeah, I appreciate that. However, there ain't nothing I can do with a 30 year old, but that's another video, that's another video. Okay, so going gray for me is an indication to the world that you're getting old and you're losing the I want to say, is it melanin in your hair? It's something that's coming that you're losing in your hair. The, it's not protein. It's a name. I don't know the name, but by the time I post this video, I will have researched it and I'll put it below. But I am, I'm aware that I'm losing that in my hair and the color in my hair. And um, getting older just all together is just a whole nother video and you experience the highs of lows um coming into terms with your mortality and so this video started out being about locks locks of gray and i don't know it's like it's emotional um I love the way I look. I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy about everything that I'm doing. But being on a journey with your hair for black women in particular is altogether a whole nother thing because for most of our lives, we are conditioned to believe that our hair is what makes us beautiful when in actuality, who you are on the inside is what makes you beautiful. Your personality, um, how you deal with other people, um, building friendships, um, it's everything. Like, it's not just your hair and the outer appearance helps you, but you can look good on the outside, be put together on the outside and be a mess on the inside. And I can admit, that there are periods in my life when I just was a mess and sometimes now I have to sit down and reconnect with myself and just put everything out so one of my goals for 2021 is to make more videos and to be more transparent because I feel like every journey that we go on in life it it can help someone else and so my lock journey, see I keep putting my hands in my hair. My lock journey and my gray hair journey is something that I'm very proud of because I have made it to 51. I'll be 52 this year and I'm not ashamed to say it. So to the ladies, to the young ladies out here, anyone who's watching this video, um, always know that you are enough and if no one tells you that you're enough and you never hear it on a daily basis because honestly I don't hear it either so I have to tell myself and you have to say to yourself girl you doing that thing today you're beautiful your brown skin is luxurious your hair is fabulous like you just have to anoint yourself with love and that's what I hope to do in 2021 with my videos. Um, I am an artist. I'm a graphic designer. 
and I also do embroidery and now I'm gonna become a youtuber and I hope that you guys um, enjoy the videos that I make and I hope that you come back for more all right so I'll talk to you guys on the next video peace and light